What's going on, y'all? Here with another story about how I got into art. Now, most of you don't know, I'm an artist. It says the Thomas Gallery on my page, but I'm an artist. I like to paint, very little sculpture, sketches, stuff like that. But many people throughout my life have always asked me, you know, how did I get into it? Well, actually, the story is very simple. I'm actually self-taught, or the term is autodidactic, self-taught. And the arts run in my family. My mother is an artist, brothers, cousins, uncles, aunts, all that stuff. And it actually traces back to my grandmother, my maternal grandmother. And as far back as I can remember, I've always had a knack for it. And I grew up in a town where the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were highly popular, highly popular, and that's all I would draw. And as far as I can remember, I started drawing, at least the earliest piece I, I found was when I was two years old, drawing a Ninja Turtle. And it's something that I've always gravitated towards. I've always had an interest in, I've always had an urge to do, always found time to do it, even when it got me in trouble in school, where I would be the only, you would know my work at school is because I wouldn't write my name on my paper sometime, but on the back of the paper would be a whole lot of drawing on there. So much so that the teachers knew my paper from the other students because they look on the back of it and see drawings on there and knew it was mine. That's how much I, I like to draw and just arts in general. I didn't start taking classes official classes until I reached college. Did the figure drawing and the intro to drawing and I enjoyed it. Some I always did, so I enjoyed it, so I excelled at it. But it's a it's more of a passion for me. A lot of people do certain things just because it's fun to do. And it is. Drawing is fun art is fun for me. But for me it's more so a passion. Art is something that I believe chose me. I something something that it called me. When I when I look at things, I always want to find if I can see if I can see an image inside of an object, or I have very abstract thoughts, very creative thoughts. I I do drawings and I think of certain pieces of art in my sleep. That's actually how I plan a lot of my work. If I have an idea in my head, I will sometimes go to sleep and I will plan the idea in my head. And when I wake up, I can put it out there on paper or on canvas or whatever medium I want to use. It's something I've, I've, I've always done. I don't know how, well, I learned how I'm able to do it on command. But it's something I've always had an interest in, always had a knack in. Oddly enough, in my younger, in my younger years, I didn't really like going to art museums. You know, a lot of artists go to art museums and look at the old masters, quote unquote old masters. At a young age, I was never really interested in that. It wasn't until I got older, in my 20s and now 30s, that I started to appreciate the quote unquote old masters and appreciate going to art museums and looking at art and studying it and talking about the period, the historical period the mediums being used, what was the political scene back then, depending on the era, the time frame. And art has actually given me a window to tie many different subjects together. I use my art to tie my math together, science, English, the, the, basic, the basic subjects you have in school. I use my art to tie those together so I can better understand and comprehend the world around me. This is how I've always done it in the past, but now I'm actually focused on developing as a skill. Now my art at first was a talent, but you can develop a talent into a skill. A talent is something you're naturally born with. I, am, I have a natural artistic ability or natural artistic talent. Over years, I have developed it into a skill. So when people ask me, you know, when did I get into it? I got into it at a very young age, as most artists did. Most artists that you read about or talk with, they tell you that they have always started since they can, before they can remember. Well, 
I actually can because the earliest I said earlier that I have was when I was two years old. So two years old to I'm now 33. So that tells you the amount of years of experience I have in art. So that's just a little bit of brief story about my artistic life. Share it, you know, drop your stories in yourself. You have a good day. Peace.